Good afternoon everyone and welcome to the University of Pretoria's Engineering 4.0 Laboratory. Currently have uh, everything set up here ready to go for some gold leafing uh, laser ablation to add some details. Over here on the left hand side we've got the Atomstack A5 Pro laser. We've already started the laser for the detailing. Currently running at 1000 millimeters per second at 25 percent power. We also have the program running here. We've made sure to set the center point to the center of our 3D print. You can currently see the laser running around about uh, all the details. Currently set to vectorize mode to just do single lines for us on the detailing and 25% power just enough to ablate the material uh, to leave a fine trace. So simple as that uh, and with everything dialed in you will start seeing that image. Great, and uh, there we're done. So, some good looking details, really nice contrast. Not maybe the best finish, but otherwise, nonetheless, I'd say that's a pretty impressive result. And uh, now we're going to do the lid next, the slightly simpler than to align everything with uh, the model that we have over here. You'll see that shortly, a little bit of a simpler pattern as well to, uh, to burn in. But that's typically that the look that you can expect. Obviously it will differ if you're either using plastic or say a type of concrete as you saw in one of my previous videos. But overall really impressed by the finished quality. This took all in all uh, approximately 12 minutes. So on to the next part. In the second part of the video we're going to do the top lid of the enclosure. So that's going to get that Einstein uh, tiling pattern on it got on the computer display currently the setup uh, for that ready to go it's about 180 by 180 millimeters adding the image slightly larger than that to ensure that we do get adequate coverage so currently 190 mils so five mils on uh, every side take a look at this one uh, move down the laser make sure everything is uh, nicely aligned you'll see it's nice and square with the pattern underneath to make sure it's orthogonal and we can almost get going so QB time lapse Right everyone, there's the final product, looks even better than some of the enclosures, you'll see there's a nice sheen on that as well, pattern looking really really nice, uh, some non-uniformity for some of the lines, but I suspect that was due to the dilation operation of the image on GIMP, so some of the lines might be uh, slightly thinner than others, although it does depend on the perspective as well at which you, you look at it. So, thanks for watching. Uh, trust that was an informative process on how you can cut cool laser designs into your gold leaf patterns, even on 3D printed parts. So, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave any questions or comments in the description below. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.